In this project, we will simulate the radiation heat transfer inside a computer room. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFD training videos by Mr. CFD. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFD logo and subscribe. In this project, steady airflow enters the domain from the bottom of the room by several inlets and exits the domain from several outlets on the ceiling considering radiation heat transfer. This air conditioning method is new and is commonly used in office environments nowadays. This method provides more energy efficiency since the flow naturally goes upward due to the density difference and buoyancy body force. One of the room's four main walls is exposed to a constant heat flux equal to 194 watt per meter squared. Air temperature at the inlet is considered equivalent to 291.1 Kelvin. Because of heat transfer to the air, the area weighted average temperature of the air at outlet is equal to 298.91 Kelvin. The present geometry is designed in ANSYS Design Modeler software and consists of a domain in which there are four different computers running. By clicking on check button, uh, you will see that under the console tab, the Fluid software will start to check your mesh for any errors. Now if you click on the outlet boundary and then click on edit button, we can further adjust the settings related to this boundary. Also if you click on the radiation tab, you can see we have enabled the option of participates in view factor calculation and we have set the internal emissivity value to 1. And finally if you click on the outer wall boundary and then click on the thermal tab for it, you can see again we have defined the heat flux thermal condition. And this time we have set the value of heat flux equal to zero, meaning that this wall boundary is adiabatic. After double clicking on the controls button, in the middle section of the software window, you can see that new part will appear. In the appear part, you can see under relaxation factors for different parameters. Now these values are set here by the software automatically. You can change these values, which are between zero and one, by yourself for different projects you do. But it is highly recommended that you do not do that since it may result in divergence. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than these criterion, uh, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence. Now in this slide you can easily see the temperature distribution inside our computational domain. You can easily see that the computers and simulators have a higher temperature in comparison with other furniture inside this room. Now in this slide you can easily see the velocity vectors in our computational domain. You also can easily see that the velocity vectors entering and exiting our computational domain have higher values. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.